guys, so this morning I've woken up with like flu-like symptoms and cold symptoms. I've just taken some flu stuff and I've just taken my meds so I'm hoping that once everything kicks in that this will go away because sometimes it happens. And sometimes I'll wake up really like, you know, like congested and stuff and then as the day goes on I'll feel fine. I'm hoping it's one of those days because if I end up getting sick I don't want them to cancel my operation because I know they don't like putting people under general anaesthetic if they're unwell even though it's not a major operation or anything. Um, anyway, good morning. Hello, good morning. I think Lils is feeling a little bit better. I think she just had a couple of off days because she seems to be more herself. Um, I'm heating up my heat pack. I'm trying to motivate, motivate myself to get out of bed to do stuff, but it's difficult. Cooking dinner tonight. I have a doctor's appointment in an hour. Um, so I do need to get up. Um, something that I keep forgetting to tell you guys is that I'm really interested in, like, I think it's Korean culture. Like, you know, like, K-pop and stuff like that. Like, there's this band called BTS. I think it's called BTS. And they're really, like, good. Like, if their songs, like, some of, like, the songs, it, they sing in Korean. And then they have English bits. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Korean anyway. Um, but then I remember I was looking at the lyrics of one of the songs. And I, I'm telling you now, it was Japanese. I studied Japanese in secondary school. So I know what the characters look like. And it was Japanese. And English. So... Yeah, it was kind of an interesting mix, but yeah, I would absolutely love to learn Korean, but I feel like a bit, it, it's a bit of a pointless, not a pointless language, but it's not relevant to me, like when would I use it kind of thing, apart from like going to people, oh yeah, I can speak Korean. Um, I think I'd like to learn French, I wish I'd chosen that, I started to learn it when I was younger, in primary school in the UK, because we had the option of French or German, I think it was, um, and I chose French. Um, but when I came to Australia, it was French or Japanese, and I was like, Pff, I'm, not, I'm not doing French, I did that in whatever, but I should have just carried on with French, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing Japanese, I went to Japan with school, and we went, to, we went to a school there, and we spoke Japanese to them, and they spoke English to us, and it was really cool, and I had, like, I'll have to show you guys some pictures, like, do a story time of the time I went to Japan. I was, I was younger, I, I looked, I'd be embarrassed to show you some of these pictures, but I don't know if you guys want to see a video like that. Um, anyway, I'm not going to babble because I know some people don't like these really long clips. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get up now. Guys, she's a little sushi roll. Are you all wrapped up? <laughs> Should we unwrap you like a little roll? There you are. I'm sorry, I put way too much footage of my dogs in here. Um, I'm just waiting for a call back from my sister because I've said that I would pick her up after my appointment, but I actually have enough time to go pick her up now and drop her off. Her car's broken down, that's why she's not driving. Um, yeah, I have enough time to pick her up and drop her home, but if she doesn't call me back soon, I won't have enough time. So, yeah. Sorry, you now? Sorry, I'm trying to vlog? you who? Hey guys, so I'm home now. I'll like, update all about the doctor's appointment in a bit, but I've just edited yesterday's vlog. That's going up, but it's literally processing. Like, it's got a minute left. Cooking dinner, and I cut myself. This is like the tiniest, wussiest cut I've probably had in a long, long time. But, any excuse to use my panda plasters, I'm using it. Um, because I'm cooking dinner, I don't want to get blood on the potatoes. And these are like fabric ones as well, which I know you're not really meant to use when you're cooking, but <laughs> how cute is this? Come on, I'd get a paper cut any day to use one of these cutie things. I'd get a paper cut any day to use one of these cutie things. Yeah, I'm cooking, I'm doing the potatoes. Pans on boiling to do the roast potatoes. I am peeling them. Put the oven on lamb chops. Did I show you guys the lamb chops? I don't think I did. Hang on. These are the lamb chops. These bad boys. What the hell? They're heavy. So, how's everyone doing? Cooking with Amy should be a thing. I'm gonna film my what I eat in the day with Gastro Priest's video, even though technically. Like, it makes me sick, but I just thought I'd show you guys the things that I eat that um, maybe come up easier or some of you gastro priests might be okay with. 
um, or things that I found that I tolerate more of when I'm still sick. Um, so I just thought I would film a video on that, not today, um, but soon. And I also really want to do like an Instagram controls me for a day kind of video. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but I'm really loving them videos at the moment. <sighs> I've got pots. I mean, you know I've got pots, but I've got it. Um, yeah, I really want to do one of them videos, so I might do a poll on my main channel and see what you guys want to see more. And I filmed a PO Box unboxing video today as well, so I can't wait for that to go up. How cute is my plaster? Clearly, my family have very big appetites. We have three pans full of lamb chops. Number one, number two, number three. Potatoes are in. There they are. And in the microwave, I've got my camera's kind of fogged up a bit now. The green beans, which are ready, but I'm just keeping them warm in there. I kind of underestimated the time it would take to do things. Oh, oh whoever, do, whoever does this, like, housewife duties on a daily basis, like, how do you do it? Oh, I'm so tired. Everything aches. All I've done is peel a few potatoes and put some lamb chops in the pan. Oh. Yes, those of you out there that cook every day, like a proper meal, like, I'm not just talking like a throw together meal that goes in the oven. Like, I'm talking about where you've got to peel potatoes, prep chops, do green beans, green beans, like, good on you. Good on you. So while I have a second, I want to quickly update on the doctors. So basically, um, we're doing bloods and we're sent off urine, we're checking like my thyroid, my kidney function, all that stuff. Um, because one, she thinks I might possibly be anemic again and two she thinks I've got an infection somewhere which I really hope I don't because like I'm having surgery on Thursday and I don't want my body to be weak I know I'm not going to be under general for long but still like it's a concern for me so hopefully fingers crossed that everything comes back fine and I'm just having like a bit of a flare with everything um right I need to go check on dinner Stay groovy. So, bit of a dilemma. These ones are cooked. They're keeping hot under the turned off pan. These ones are almost on, but they look and smell really good. They're a little bit more caramelized than I would have wanted, but beggars can't be choosers. And my potatoes are good. They're almost ready, almost. Um, and my green beans are pretty much, like I said, ready. They just need like a minute or so in the microwave, and then they're ready to go. Oh, I'm in the middle of editing my video. Um, the unboxing video for my PO box. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, and Tom's home, but he's just on the phone to someone from work. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's doing really yeah. Hello, my name is Jeff. I'm <laughs> young. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it changes every time. Ang Yong. Green Lamy Chim. Chapia. That's why you have to know the characters and how to pronounce them. It's got it spelt phonetically. Okay, yeah, Annyeong, <laughs> oh, Okay, here we go. Annyeong, G. See, he it sounds like he's saying G again, but that's Illyrium. Inyeong, Jepanyuya. Annyeong, Jirumun, Jepanyuya. See, we read it as G, but he's saying it's. Hang on. Annyeong, Jirumun, Jepanyuya. G. Annyeong, Jirumun, Jepanyuya. Jirumun. Okay. So guys, anyway, I decided to learn Japanese because since I've already learned some Japanese, so it'll be easier for me to pick up again. So I'm going to learn Japanese first, become fluent in it, and then learn Korean, then, <laughs> Sp <laughs> then Spanish. Well, I don't know. This, this is not an order. It's going to be Japanese, Korean, and then I want to learn Spanish. French, German, what was the other one? Was that it? Chinese. No, not Chinese. I think it was those three. Fr French, German, and Spanish. Italian. Nah, I'm not bothered about Italian. Portuguese. No, I'm not bothered about the other one. Greek. Shh. Greek? Oh. You're nice. Thanks. 
Um, Swedish. <laughs> so you can order Swedish meatballs in Swedish. I'm just gonna no, I'm just gonna learn how to order Swedish meatballs in Swedish. Like, I want twenty meatballs. Wow. I don't want the cranberry sauce on the side. I want I just want the gravy and chips with some salt. Anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna order the the books that I'm choosing to learn by, which I've really highly rated, is Korean from Zero and Japanese from Zero. I don't know if they're made by the same company because they don't like the covers don't look the same. But they're the books that I'm getting. Um, Japanese from Zero, um, and it kind of it, it the way it does it. It's not like other learning books. So for example, other learning books might be they will you will learn the alphabet in groups but they're not necessarily in any type of order whereas these books you're right there yeah i've just had a sore throat <clears throat> but these books they group things so they'll do like all the colors together all the numbers together and it makes it easier to remember it in that way so you're not learning you know one number and then a load of random letters or whatever so yeah that's what i'm gonna do japanese then korean and then I'll become a multilinguist. I can actually say that. Can I have 20 meatballs? Can you have four sugar chef bullet? Can you have four sugar something? It's the so band down here, yeah, so you can learn it. Can you have four sugar chef bullet? But I can't say it first because I don't know it. Can you have four sugar chef bullet? Hey guys, so dinner was a success. Um, so you know earlier when I was um, peeling those potatoes and I like nicked my knuckle um, and I was like oh any chance to, any excuse to use a plaster I'd get a paper cut any day to use one of these cutie things well I was just feeding the dogs and the packets you know those little square ones that I showed you guys a couple of days ago or a couple of vlogs ago um because it's really thin metal when you peel it back and I peeled it back and I must have just caught it in the wrong way and I sliced at the top of my finger and clean off. clean off no i didn't uh, it's not that bad it's more like a paper cut kind of thing but it's just really sharp metal so and it's the very like ball of your finger like here the very top um and it's bleeding like a, like a lot compared to the one i did earlier which didn't bleed that much um so this one actually deserves a plaster so i kind of jinxed myself in that sense but um yeah, I hope you guys are okay. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So, I'm gonna probably read the rest of my chapter because I'm halfway through a chapter and then I'm probably gonna head to bed. Um, but I hope you guys are okay. Please give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.